What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, we have some very, very interesting news when it comes to four division world champion Mexican superstar boxer Saul Canelo Alvarez. And he is the super middleweight unified WBC, WBA, WBO ring magazine world champion superstar boxer. With that said, uh, Canelo Alvarez had been in negotiations with undefeated IBF super middleweight world champion superstar boxer Caleb Sweethand Plant and negotiations fell through because of some of the steep, steep very steep uh, demands on the part of Canelo Alvarez, okay? Uh, and Can uh, Caleb Plant, he stated that, you know, they were willing to, you know, um, uh, give concede to everything Canelo Alvarez wanted. But when he got down to the point where he wanted $40 million and everything set in stone, even if Caleb Plant got injured, uh, he would replace Caleb Plant with a low-level opposition and still get everything uh, he was looking for if he was, as if he was still in an undisputed showdown with Caleb Plant. And the powers that be with the PBC, Premier Boxing Champions, uh, the management from Caleb Plant, uh, they stated that that was a little too steep. Uh, they weren't willing to concede to that, and so they were moving on. The negotiations fell through. With that said, uh, Caleb Plant and Canelo Alvarez then began to be linked to other opponents. They were scheduled to possibly shape, face off against each other in the showdown September 18th. Now we are in August. This is August 2nd, and they haven't had an agreement. Uh, that only gives them seven weeks from today to prepare to negotiate and to promote the fight, okay? Uh, it's a huge undisputed showdown. With that said, uh, Canelo Alvarez was linked now to uh, light heavyweight WBA undefeated Russian star boxer Dmitry Bivol. Uh, but now that has since fell apart as well, as it looks like, you know, um, uh, uh, Dimitri Bevel is unwilling to go down to 168. I'm sure Canelo can entice Dimitri Bevel to make his way down to 168 if he so chooses, or Canelo Alvarez could possibly go to 175. But the interesting news here today is that uh, Eddie Hearn, matching CEO and promoter, promoter, co-promoter with um, uh, Canelo Alvarez, Canelo Alvarez Promotions, uh, they usually do business and fight on the network of the zone. But with that said, uh, I, uh, Eddie Hearn, he stated that now Canelo Alvarez is willing to, uh, you know, loosen up on his stance about, you know, um, certain demands, okay, to make this fight happen in September. He referenced that Canelo Alvarez is essentially a dog with a bone when it comes to this fight with Caleb Plant because it's historic uh, two times over for Canelo Alvarez. Should he beat Caleb Plant? He'll be the first undisputed super middleweight four belt holder in the history of the sport of boxing. And he would be the first Mexican born fighter to hold all four major sanctioned bodies in this era. So it's historic two times over for uh, Canelo Alvarez. So Canelo Alvarez is now looking to secure that fight with Caleb Plant, okay? I believe Canelo Alvarez is playing hardball. I believe that Canelo Alvarez. Uh, is trying to have every advantage possible. Uh, he limits, uh, you know, the amount of time Caleb Plant could, could prepare for the fight. But the thing is, I'm sure Caleb Plant has already been in training camp. Caleb Plant has already been preparing for a fight with Canelo Alvarez. This has been uh, uh, the worst kept secret in the sport of boxing since May that they were going to fight in September. So I'm pretty sure uh, Caleb Plant, who last fought in January or February against his IBF mandatory challenger, Caleb Truitt, I'm almost certain that Caleb Plant uh, has been preparing for Canelo Alvarez. Even uh, the two times it's been reported that Caleb Plant turned down the opportunity to fight Canelo Alvarez because Caleb Plant said it was too short a notice. So that lets me know, and that should let the boxing world know and the pundits, that Caleb Plant has all, uh, you know, um, intentions of fighting Canelo Alvarez, and he's been preparing and uh, coming up with some sort of game plan since the Caleb Truett fight, since he uh, turned down the Canelo Alvarez fight, I'm sure that Caleb Plant, you know, uh, has been in preparation for Canelo Alvarez. So I'm almost certain that he doesn't need more than seven weeks at this point in time, uh, scheduled seven weeks to prepare for Canelo Alvarez because he's already been in training camp. He's already been preparing, and Caleb Plant is not a guy who is out of shape. So Caleb Plant is always in shape. He's always ready. You know, uh, he doesn't have to lose weight and things of that nature. He don't balloon up in weight in between fights. So, uh, with that said,
Caleb Plant is prepared, seven weeks is more than enough. I believe that Canelo Alvarez is playing a bit of hardball. He's the clear A side. Canelo Alvarez is looking at it from a standpoint where, you know, uh, he wants to maximize as much revenue um, as ma as many advantages as possible going into this fight. I don't believe that Canelo Alvarez was prepared for Caleb Plant uh, and the PBC and Caleb Plant's management team to pull away from the fight. I believe that he thought that, you know, because he gave uh, Caleb Plant what he was looking for, which was the reported uh, $10 million. Caleb Plant was looking for uh, $10 million to face off against Canelo Alvarez, seeing as though Canelo Alvarez, his last two opponents, has been uh, trending in that direction, right? When he fought Caleb Smith for uh, two belts, the WBC that was vacant by two-time super middleweight world champion, superstar Mexican boxer David Benavidez on a scale, they fought for the vacant WBC title that he lost on the scale, and they fought for Caleb uh, Smith's uh, WBA titles, unification bout, and Caleb Smith got $6 million. Uh, then he fought Billy Joe Saunders, two-division world champion, who at the time was an undefeated WBO reigning super middleweight world champion, British superstar boxer, and they fought for three belts, the WBA, the WBC, the WBO, and the ring magazine belt uh, that Billy that was placed on the line at that point in time. And they fought for $8 million, okay? So $2 million has been trending in that direction. So now all the belts are on the line, plus the ring magazine, and a huge showdown. And Caleb Plant was viewed as one of the best super middleweights, not, if not the best super middleweight, before Canelo started campaigning in his division, he and David Benavidez. Uh, now Caleb Plant, Caleb, Caleb Plant, he wants $10 million, okay? You gave $6 million to Caleb Smith for two belts. You gave $8 million to Billy Joe Saunders for three belts in the ring, and now you give me $10 million for four belts and the ring magazine. And it's a bigger pay-per-view event, okay? And it's historic. Uh, every, it's a legacy fight for Canelo Alvarez more so. Now, the other two fights were definitely very important, but this fight was more so important. This is more important than those because history is on the line. This one fight, this one victory, he goes down in the record books as the first undisputed super middleweight world champion and the first Mexican uh, undisputed, a Mexican four major sanction belt holders. So it's historic all the way around. Caleb Plant understands his worth. He understands what uh, he's set to win and he's set to gain uh, in this fight. And he's uh, confident. Standing at six foot one with a 74 inch arm reach, 29 years of age, he's undefeated. You know, uh, he's a slick boxer. You know, uh, he understands that he definitely has an opportunity to beat. Uh, Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez at 31 years of age, stands at five foot eight with a 70 inch arm reach. So Caleb uh, Plant is going to have uh, a four inch height advantage. He's going to have a four inch arm reach advantage over Canelo Alvarez. And he's a slicker boxer. He's younger. You know, uh, he's not known as a knockout artist, but he's very slick. He's very um, uh, technically skilled. He's quick. He's quicker than Canelo Alvarez. He's fast feet. He has everything it takes to beat uh, Canelo Alvarez. And history is on his side as well because Caleb Plant wins this fight. Right, Caleb Plant is now the first. Now he not history two times over, but he's the first uh, um, undisputed super middleweight in the history of the sport of boxing, and he'd be the lineal champion holding a ring magazine. So that speaks volumes for you know uh, uh, Caleb Plant. You know it's historic for him as well. So he knows what's at stake. He knows what he's set to gain. He's set to lose, uh, and he wants to uh, get as much revenue as possible. Caleb Plant, 21 wins, no losses, no draws, 12 wins by way of knockout. Okay, uh, so. He understands, you know, uh, this is uh, uh, life changing, uh, it's legacy, it's historic, you know, uh, and he's not willing to, you know, uh, just give Canelo Alvarez any and everything. Now, uh, with that said, he is willing to give Canelo Alvarez the lion's share of most of the things. But the fact that Canelo Alvarez, 56 wins, one loss, two draws, 38 big wins by way of knockout, uh, Canelo Alvarez uh, wanted, you know, to have a situation where should he be victorious? Oh, I mean, excuse me, should he uh, not get injured, right? Caleb Plant has to be replaced with any level of fighter, B, C, whatever, and he gets everything as if he is still fighting Caleb Plant for undisputed. But if he gets injured, Caleb Plant has to sit on the shelf, and that's where they drew the line in the sand. So Caleb Plant has to sit on the shelf and not stay active. But you get to stay active and get everything reap all the benefits as if you was fighting Caleb Plant for the belt and you could be fighting a D-level fighter because you're going to have a lot of say-so in choosing who the opponent is to replace Caleb Plant and the PBC, Caleb Plant's management team, they're unwilling to do so. So now uh, Eddie Hearn is saying that he's 
Canelo Alvarez is more than willing to go back to the negotiation tables and make adjustments to make this fight happen in September. So we got to see how this plays out. Hopefully it comes to fruition. Uh, I like this fight. You know, uh, if Caleb Plant is completely on his A game, you know, uh, and the, brick, the bright lights and the moment don't get to him, he has every tool in the toolbox to beat Canelo Alvarez. And Canelo Alvarez, he's been here before, 10 times over. So he knows what it takes to be victorious on this level. He fought Triple G. Uh, he fought Floyd Mayweather. He fought some of the biggest names within the sport of boxing. So uh, Canelo Alvarez knows what to expect. This would be huge, huge for the sport of boxing. We get a, another undisputed champion, uh, and, and we get uh, his history being made either which way, right? History will be made. Should Canelo Alvarez win, history be made. Should Caleb Plant win, history is going to be made. So either which way, history will be made, and this fight needs to happen for the sport of boxing. I know Canelo Alvarez is the A-side, and he's going to have diva-like mentality and diva-like ways, but you got to get it done. you got to find a way to get it done. So let's see how everything unfolds and plays out. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. This is Amanda the Real Deal Serrano and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV.